Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining me again. So I'm still a little bit sore, so I'm doing this video inside as well again today. I have been going out, but they're just very gentle walks. I can't really hang about when I'm out until I've fully recovered. But today I'm going to talk about the things that we tell ourselves. So we tell ourselves, I'm like you and you're like me. What we believe in our thoughts and in our feelings about everything is how we behave in the world every day when we go out and about. And we're teaching others to do the same. So if we're angry and we're irritated, we're teaching the people that we come in contact with to do the same thing because whatever influence you put on another person then you will bring that out in that other person so if you're interacting with people in a loving and caring way then you will bring that nature out in them so it's a very important thing to realize that every time you interact with someone the way that you interact with them is teaching them to interact in the same way and the only way that they won't respond in this way is if they're very very aware of who they are and in what you're doing now most of the time this is done unconsciously but someone who is very aware and very awake will see that within us so they would respond in a different way but the majority of the time People who really have a false sense of identity will then just react in the same way you're reacting towards them. They won't be able to come above it. Just in the same way, if we are unaware and someone approaches us in a certain way, then we will be taught to react in that way. And if you think about incidences that you've had, if someone approaches you in a loving way, it brings out your loving side. If someone approaches you in a hostile way, it brings out your defensive, hostile side. But at the time, we don't understand that we're teaching each other because most of the time, it's very quick response and we don't think about it. Maybe later on, we might think about the reaction. But at that time... It takes someone who's very, very aware of who they are to not respond. And so every time that you approach someone, you're giving them a demonstration of behaviours. And if they are open, they're going to learn that behaviour and then they're going to demonstrate it. Maybe not necessarily towards you, but they might do it then towards someone else. And whatever is in your mind that you're focusing on, that is the behaviours that are going to come forward in your interactions. So if you're feeling insecure, you're feeling vulnerable, you're feeling angry, that is what's going to come to the forefront with any given interaction first. So it's important to think about this. So the other way is to try and come from a loving and a caring approach. This alternative way then demonstrates care and compassion towards the other. And then this is what you will bring out in the other person. Now, it can be a big ask for people because, as I stated before, most people run on automatic pilot. So it takes practice and it takes awareness of what you're thinking to be able to do it and consistently do it over and over. But if you practice it, and it doesn't matter if you slip up and you get it wrong or you make a mistake. Just go back and say, okay, today 
I'm going to approach people in a loving and a caring way. And then the more and more you do it, the more it will become ingrained in you as a person. And you'll feel so much better. And you'll have such much better days and so will the people around you. One of the reasons it's such a big ask is because when we run with anger or run with irritation, it becomes an addiction, an addiction in our mind, just like smoking or drinking. It becomes a psychological addiction that we get addicted to and just run that pattern all the time. But recognizing that we have the pattern Awareness is the first step to change. So we want to question the assumptions that we've placed upon ourselves about who we are and who we are in our life. And really taking a good look at that and seeing, well, is that correct? Or is that a false sense of me? Looking at other people, is this really the type of person they are or is this a false sense that I believe about that person and this is a step to change because anger and irritation usually comes because we have a certain assumption about somebody that might not necessarily be true because you run this addiction pattern so you think everybody is the same but in most cases it's a false sense of the others we all have that truth within us we all have the ability to let go of these shadows that have been following us around sometimes for years and decades but the question is, can you look at it? Or do you want to look at it? Do we want to stop betraying ourselves over and over and over again? These are all the questions that we need to ask ourselves. And when we look at it, this will bring us back into harmony and it will bring back your sense of security and safety because feeling insecure and unsafe in your world leads to those destructive type of behaviours. It also separates us from ourselves and from others and from the world. Whether it's when we look at it, it brings us back into connection with others and the world again and most importantly connecting back to who we are we can start to see that others are in fact a lot like us and this is one of the reasons why we get triggered by other people but we get triggered because we see something in them that we don't like about ourselves. But once we understand that that's something within us that we need to heal, you can then start to see the others in a very different way. When you come across a person, you will see how much you are like them rather than pushing them away as separate from ourselves then that fear that you have when you see some something in someone else will disappear because you will realize it's a fear within you that you need to heal and that it's actually nothing to do with that other person. Now they might have that within them, but that's not your job. They have to figure that out for themselves. The first instance is for you to be aware of it and for you to heal it. And then 
when you heal it, you will be approaching people in a different way and that will then help them to heal. Any perceptions that we have that we are being attacked by others is a false perception and it's self-defeating to ourselves and to everyone else. So when we start to let go of these things, then things start to change for us and we can move forward in a much healthier and a much better way. And not only does it benefit us greatly, it benefits every single interaction that we have from then on. And when you do go out in the world, you're then teaching people in a healthy way and you're helping them in their day instead of causing suffering to yourself and to those other people. So until next time, thank you for watching and take care.